Salut à toutes et à tous et bienvenue sur Geek Wars, je suis Scar et aujourd'hui on se retrouve sur The Wolf Among Us. Alors, j'avais dit qu'on ferait un épisode juste après celui qu'on avait fait la dernière fois, euh, mais euh, on avait fini sur un gros cliffhanger du... Euh, de quel endroit il fallait qu'on aille entre euh, le prêteur sur gage et la boucherie, et j'avais pas eu beaucoup de réponses tout de suite, donc j'ai attendu un petit peu plus pour voir s'il y avait des réponses qui allaient venir. Euh, et entre temps, je suis tombé malade, donc euh, ça m'a rallongé d'une semaine en plus de convalescence, <rire> donc qui fait que ça, on a à peu près rien tourné depuis un mois. Bon, cela mis de côté, donc on est de retour sur The Wolf Among Us et on est prêt à repartir dans l'aventure. Donc la dernière fois, on s'était retrouvé avec euh, Nerissa, entre autres, euh, après s'être engueulé avec Blanche-Neige au sujet de Colline et au sujet de comment gérer euh, toute cette crise. Donc on s'était retrouvé avec Nerissa qui avait essayé de nous donner des informations, mais on avait complètement foiré euh, notre enquête là-dessus et on n'avait pas réussi à lui faire sortir ces informations euh, de la bouche. Et juste après, on a été emmené vers... Euh, la Belle et la Bête qui avaient des informations, eux, à nous donner, qui pouvaient nous donner. Euh, et on s'est rendu compte qu'ils s'étaient foutus grave dans la merde avec leur prêt pour le Crooked Man. Et que ça semble vraiment euh, être la merde pour eux. Du coup, on a eu le choix entre le prêteur sur gage où Belle est allé euh, faire son prêt ou euh, la boucherie. La bête a travaillé une fois et pense que c'est peut-être pas de la viande qui qu'il manipule. Alors, du coup, j'ai écouté euh, vos. Euh... J'ai. Alors. Alors, du coup, j'ai regardé vos commentaires et euh... du coup, ça va être le pawn shop, le prêteur sur gage en premier. Alors. Et du coup, on y retourne tout de suite. Et donc, nous y revoilà au moment du choix. Lucky Pawn ou Butcher Shop. Et donc, on avait décidé d'aller sur The Lucky Pawn. I'm going to the Lucky Pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the Butcher Shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Let's Wait, go. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh. Thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Oui, oui. Alors, je vais vous aider, mais je vais pas buter des gens pour vous aider, par contre. Ça, c'est euh, ça, c'est non, ça. Je vais vous aider parce que je vous aime bien, mais quand même, il y a des limites. Hein, ouais. Lucky pawn. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, really? What? Big B's here. Oh, why are you never <laughs> glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again, like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, all right? And anyways, I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'll be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Oh, putain. Why would you think I'd take an <laughs> ugly used mule skin coat? Because it's magic mule skin, that's why. Oh, hey, poor toad. wait a minute, that's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Mark up one, huh? Mark yes, up I think the off-sighted statute of finders keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I, I don't know. <sighs> This is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. 
If the witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. You know, maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? <laughs> Give me an advance. A loan or something. She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much, so forgive me if I don't expect anything different now. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the onlays? Okay, <laughs> Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Told? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? Funny you should mention that, because it's exactly why I'm here. I'm here to take a loan. You want a loan? I bien sûr que non, didn't idiot. really think you the type. Well, first, uh, tell me, how does it work? You know, um, I'm sorry, Bigby, but I really shouldn't be talking about this with you. You know this is a fucking crooked man place, right? Toad? He uses fancy boys like Jack here to squelch the honest businessman. Force him to lay on credit into servitude. High interest isn't servitude, and nobody's complained before. Oh, listen. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. <laughs> leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour then? Uh, it's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Look, I'll. I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... Uh, I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man. Who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. Look, I'm sorry, all right? What else do you want from me? He really grows on you. Contre ta gueule. Bon alors, on en était ouf. Came to gloat? Since you had to go and tell on me, I got eight weeks work detail from Snow. She has me <laughs> fixing leaky pipes. Like I even know what a C clamp is. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. <laughs> is this really why you came down here? Entre autres. The woodsman's axe? I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. Because uh, I'm not a mind reader. Tell me about these loans. How do they work? Who collects? Look, people get desperate, and when you're drowning, anything that isn't sinking along with you looks like a life raft. The crooked man gives, and he wants things in return. And when you don't pay up, bad stuff happens. Why do you think I've never taken one? A little credit card fraud never hurt anybody. What kind of things does he want in return? Could be anything, from the loan plus interest, family heirlooms, to novelties of a more exotic nature. Like? Magic, memories, parts of you. It's bad. Listen, okay. I gotta start closing up shop. No, so, no, 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 It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run it on hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so what? Uh... I want to check stuff out here first. <laughs> if this is a crooked man place, maybe something here will help me find him. Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. Uh, Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm going to take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Okay. Awesome. What's the anvil for? Blacksmith didn't need it. I haven't seen him around for a while. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
cristal. Just my luck. Ok. <rire> Il a pas l'air d'aimer ce poisson, je sais pas ce qu'il a avec le poisson, mais il a pas l'air d'aimer. En tout cas, ce qui me fait marrer, c'est que Jacques, là, il, là, il, va, il va vraiment nous adorer comme personnage. Hein. Isn't this from Crane's apartment? Maybe, I don't know. You didn't go back over there and swipe it. I swear. On Toad's life. Donc, y aller. Ok. This is Prince Lawrence's dagger. Did he sell this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe, so, uh... How can you not know who pawned it? I'm not here every day. And even when I am here, people sometimes dump boxes of shit. What does it matter? Hmm. You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you? Uh, yeah? If you had my job, you wouldn't get out of bed. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. Reminds me of Briar Rose. You're not touching anything, are you? Oh, okay then. Hey, look with your eyes, not your hands, okay? Quelque chose ici. Non, un spécial. Ouh, une coupe. La coupe de coupe souffle, peut-être Faudra raconter n'importe quoi, quoi. <rire> I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh. Jack? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And was the woodsman here? Was. Who here? The woodsman. Because the axe was here. But it's gone. Did he pawn it? He usually doesn't let that thing out of his sight. I don't know anything about that. I don't. Really. I, I mean, I don't really work should... every day. So, uh, and even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Last chance. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. <laughs> oh, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... Don't give me that shit. What oh. the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... That's my fucking system. But you, you're the loup. guy who makes sure I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grinch said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. Oh, you fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Yeah. Maybe? What is, is his you... axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. You work with the crooked man. Until I give you permission... You're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Big Beast joined the Crooked Man's obedience oh, school for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers. And Bigby handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna... 
uh, let you to, you know. Go fuck yourself, Jersey. Barre-toi, Jack, barre-toi. Ça va commencer à mal se passer ici. Me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... Ooh. You piece of shit. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? Jersey. You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Trust me, you do not want to go there. And what if I do? Je te pète la gueule, c'est ça qui va se passer. <laughs> but I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Still a little sore, are we? Okay. Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. Okay. Okay. You know what? You Uh -huh. On apprend à respecter les gens. Voilà. Oh, commence pas toi. Oh, hello. Sorry, we're closed. J'ai perdu l'habitude de me battre avec ces connards. Allez, connards. Ah ouf. Selon. So, want to try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around, never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I don't. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. No clue about who was really running this town. Where did you hear it got broken? Oh, that. Gossip flies fast. 
We're like a sewing circle. Right. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Hmm. Now no, leave me. So I can find some aspirin. Oh, oh. <laughs> he ain't going anywhere. You better not be fucking with me. Or I'll come back here and finish the job. <laughs> you got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Ah, Jersey, Jersey, Jersey. T'aurais tellement dû fermer ta gueule dès le début. Hey, Sheriff. What? Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his. Oh! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, will you? Apprends quand il faut fermer ta gueule. Out of smoke? Thanks. Shitty brand. No, no. Too bad, Birdie. You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Yep. Ain't that the plan? Yeah. You're damn right it is. All right. We'll go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah? You gonna be all right? You know me. J'ai vraiment de la pitié pour le Woodsman, c'est un truc de ouf, c'est... Euh... J'avais vu pas mal de gens qui a bâché pas mal le Woodman pour son comportement et, et tout, mais euh... Bref. Woodsman, il est, il est bon dans mon bouquin. Interdit de fumer. Fuck the sign. <rire> ne faites pas ça, les gens. Respectez les, respectez les règles. Soyez gentil. Ouh, cold drinks. Yay. Yeah, yeah. ouais. Pas grand chose d'intéressant, ni ouais. Hmm. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Je dirais right. deuxième. Very appetizing. Frozen solid. Si Gordon Ramsay voyait ça. This. Si Gordon Ramsay voyait ça, il fermerait la boutique complètement là. Mm -hmm. 
Bigby Wharf? You? What happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, what? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. I'm not. What you're looking for, I... I think you'd be better off looking at, uh, the Lucky Pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. <laughs> you know where it is, right? It's around the corner and a few blocks down. C'est dommage, je suis déjà allé. I'll bet you get lucky there. <laughs> I, I, I guess that's why they call it, uh... I've been there. Didn't find what I was looking for. Had some words with Jersey, too. Words? Anyway, <laughs> if, if I'd have known you already looked at the Lucky Pond, I... I I wouldn't have pointed you there. I, I just figured anything worth a damn in Fable Town goes through Jersey's hands at some point. You know that. Mm -hmm. Believe me, I don't want to waste your time, Sheriff. Where's the magic mirror shard? Quit fucking around and tell me. I'm, I'm not. I am not fucking around. If you're lying to me, I'm gonna find out. Je Listen, to Crane the had face. the mirror. Mary had Crane. And she comes around here, right? If you're covering for her, I'm gonna have a problem with you. So you better think real hard about what you say next. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. N don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Oh, tu me fous, tu te fous de ma gueule. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before. That antique green leaves. Shit. Super. Notre notre arrivée a été annoncée. Bon. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Just wait out front. I I'll be right there. Okay. I've had enough of this shit, Johan. Come on out. Just wait in the front. I'll be right out. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here. For uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. For such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. Hello. How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. <laughs> I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. They? Do you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. Mm. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. 
I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. Okay. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Shh. Ils sont déjà barrés, hein. Ils sont déjà barrés. Allez, allez, allez. Secret. What is this place? I told you, Bigby. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was. Like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. Si ils étaient venus aussi à l'époque, peut-être que ça aurait pas, ça aurait été différent. Mais ah. So this is what Beast was delivering. The glamours, and other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Okay, donc déjà on va regarder le. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Hmm. This what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's it's all the fucking same. Ah putain ce mec. Donc euh, maintenant on tout le monde l'esclavage quoi. Plus de la prostitution. Tu sais ce que c'est. C'est même un gros vase. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never use that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Yeah. Donc ça c'est en gros la roue quoi, le tube de la roue. Ah, qu'est-ce qu'on était doué à une certaine époque pour faire des trucs comme ça? Too bad they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful. On va faire ça. C'est avec un peu de chance. Non, ils ont vraiment tout effacé. What the hell is that? C'est pas. I know this isn't your cup. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like cranes. It's seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. No 
time for traveler's checks, huh? Yeah, you don't have to You won't be needing this anymore. Worry about you and the chocolate talk. That sick piece of... The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Yep. That's my job. Ça est fumé partout apparemment. <laughs> Allez, bon courage, Johan. Bon, bah on a appris plein de trucs intéressants, ceci dit. Faire ce passage là et puis on va s'arrêter là juste. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go. I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I Sheriff think... Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking ball himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. Just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Hey, I'm not in the blue. mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean... It's fine. So what else did you find out? I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. Crooked man has something on everybody. It wasn't just Beauty and the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. He was even running black market magic out of the butcher shop. But that's over now. Because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed... We got him. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Mm, okay. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Why'd you put the herd on Flycatcher? Were you hiding something down at the Tweedles? Or was it just for fun? He worked for them, didn't he? I couldn't be sure that he wasn't involved, and I didn't want him interfering. I was simply endeavoring to make the search a speedy one. Surely you of all people can't fault me for getting overzealous in the process. I don't buy it. I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. I do so enjoy our talks. I'll wait with bated breath. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. Crane was carrying it. For part of the night, at least. I found it in his coat. It's uh, pretty amazing it's still intact after the fight, the kidnapping, and then riding around with Bloody Mary for an hour. Uh, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, 
he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fable Town. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Hey, I tried to give you money back at the Lucky Pond, but you wouldn't take it. I was just being polite. Ever heard of it? That wouldn't have covered the cab ride home, let alone a glamour. Please, I'm not looking for any more than to cover the big ticket damages. Not a cent more. I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. I need it, Big B. Okay. Here, I'm not going to get any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamour, Toad. I've got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I can't you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. <laughs> Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Don't worry, I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> oui, mais fait ce Fine. Faire. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the Crooked Man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop. The magic he peddles. Chains. Ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. Ooh! I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Oh, God, yeah. He's probably still waking up a little. Je comprends tout à fait pourquoi elle veut absolument voir où est-ce qu'il est. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Nope, 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 nope. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. Looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have 
to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Got it. Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. <sighs> mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So, where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. The door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait! When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. Uh, I know that more. emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle Mais this a certain way. Thank I'll you. catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. And cut him like a I fish. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Mais j'avais dit qu'on s'arrêterait là, donc on va s'arrêter là pour le moment. Euh... Donc, bah voilà, on a, on a eu toutes les informations qu'on voulait, on a, récup on a même récupéré le bout de miroir qui manquait pour pouvoir maintenant affronter le Crooked Man. Donc là, j'ai l'impression que l'histoire est quasiment finie, on doit être très très proche de la fin. Je ne peux pas me souvenir d'ailleurs qu'on est très très proche de la fin. Donc c'est le moment, euh, c'est le moment de, 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 de se préparer pour la semaine prochaine avec le Big Showdown où on va affronter euh, les armées du Crooked Man. Enfin, je pense, j'imagine, j'espère. Parce que j'en ai plus qu'assez de, de ce gars, en, honnêtement. Donc en attendant, n'oubliez pas d'aller euh, vous abonner à la chaîne YouTube, au Facebook, au Twitter, et également de venir nous rejoindre sur Discord si vous avez envie. Hein. Le Discord est toujours dans la description et vous pouvez cliquer sur le lien pour nous rejoindre. Euh, sur ce, je vous dis à très très vite, à très très bientôt. N'oubliez pas de laisser un like, de commenter et de partager si vous avez aimé la vidéo. Je vous retrouve très très vite, très très bientôt. Je ne vais pas dire la semaine prochaine parce qu'à tous les coups, je vais encore tomber malade et ça va pas, ça va pas être possible. Mais si c'est possible que je vous retrouve la semaine prochaine, à ce moment-là, ce sera à la semaine prochaine. Du coup, à très très vite, à très très bientôt et ciao